worked with a customer who had traditionally marketed to medium and large businesses. They had a nationwide field sales force, and their lead generation budgets and activities and measurements were all very decentralized. We helped them design a strategy for targeting the small business market. This meant they'd be doing comparatively more transactions at a lower selling price, and the deals would flow in through an inbound sales call center. So the lead generation activities would now be much more centralized. This transition also meant a change in the way this company planned for growth. In the field sales model, planning essentially involved taking the growth target, padding it or over-assigning it 10 or 20%, and distributing that bigger number to the sales team as quotas. The inbound sales model places additional emphasis on generating and managing the leads that the sales team will work. So in addition to a sales quota, this client needed a leads quota. Here's a simplified version of how we came up with the leads quota. First, we work with their finance team to determine two numbers. The average customer lifetime value, which is the total revenue expected from a customer over its lifetime, and the marketing cost of acquisition, or marketing allowance the amount that marketing is allowed to spend for one new customer. Second, we gathered marketing and sales metrics like close rate and lead conversion rate from the client and used industry averages or other research to fill in any gaps. Third, we combined the marketing allowance with the funnel metrics to derive spending targets for each layer of the funnel. Knowing these numbers helped our customer know other numbers like how many leads do we need to generate? How many salespeople do we need to work those leads? And how much revenue can we expect from those leads?